All right, you guys, today I'm gonna to show you a really fun design that's gonna incorporate our new jelly manicure colors along with our hard gel system. So we're gonna incorporate those all together. And I'm also gonna use some of our Mylar ribbon because I love this stuff and I feel like it's one of those things that I sometimes forget to use. So I'm gonna use it on, on the nail today. So I'm gonna start, I've already gone through and prepped the nail. Um, pushed back the cuticles, removed the shine, cleansed it with swipe, applied my protein bond. So now I'm going to start by building out a clear extension. And I'm going to use our clear sculptor. And we're just going to bring this right at the edge here. Connect that right to our free edge. And then just pull that forward. Now at this point I have not put my base coat on yet, but I will get to that. I like to use the and build the extension first before I apply my base and I'll show you why in just a second here. So we got our free edge built out. Just want to make sure that I connect those two really well. So we're going to go into the light for a quick 30 second freeze. Now this is where I'm going to come through with my base gel and the reason that I wait until after I've built out my extension is because when I apply my base I apply it from cuticle all the way through where that product is adhering. I'm going to take out that little piece of glitter that's on there. So again, I'm going to brush it all the way over that, that connection. So right through here, I want to make sure that that base gel is helping to connect my natural nail to that extension. Um, because when I take the form off, what can happen is if I don't have that connection built up, and it's nice and sturdy there, I can actually end up popping that free edge off. So I just wanna make sure by applying the base over that, that's actually gonna to help to secure that connection. So again, we're gonna freeze this for 30 seconds. At this point, I'm gonna take off that form and I'm gonna just kind of press to make sure that it's released and let go of that finger and then I'll just kind of pop that off. We've got Natural Born Genius and Read My Lips and these are our mylar ribbons. So what I'm going to do is just going to kind of shred these a little bit. I'm going to put these down onto my mixing tile. So I'm just going to use the scissors and just clip off little shapes on the end. Doesn't have to be anything specific, nothing perfect. Just clip a bunch of little pieces off. And I kind of turn the, the ribbon a little bit so I get more angles and just different shapes. And I like to use a couple of different colors. It just gives it a little bit more texture, a little different color, a little different light reflections, but you can use whichever ones you like. All right, so again, just kind of clipping off little bits and pieces here. Okay, so I'm gonna use two of our new jelly polishes, Fickle Pickle and Whatever You Like. I'm gonna do a design where it's gonna fade up the nail. It's not gonna go all the way back to the cuticle. And I actually like to do a lot of my nails like this because this way, when the nail grows out, you don't really see as much of that outgrowth. I'm gonna to start to add in little shreds of that Mylar ribbon. Having those different shapes, different sizes, really kind of helps because you're gonna just fill in space. And I'm just setting these down into that wet gel. I haven't cured the gel, so it's gonna cure right into that gel. So I'm going to set this into place. I'm gonna get a little bit more color a little bit more depth with my Mylar ribbon, but I'm gonna just kind of repeat that process. I'm just gonna grab my gel brush and blend that in. I'm just gonna grab a dotting tool here because the pieces were kind of sticking to my brush a little bit too much. Now you guys, because I'm using the gel polishes, I'm not building any structure to this nail at all whatsoever. So we really wanna make sure that when we do cap the product, with our hard gel that it is going to build up structure, okay? So very thin application at this point. There's not really a whole lot of structure involved. I'm using the Build Pink today. I just kind of like the color of the pink. Just kind of feels like everything gets a little bit brighter when I'm using the Build Pink. So again, just gonna put a little bit of product up by my cuticle area, working that product down through the rest of the body of the nail. Now again, because we were layering this, you would think that it would get a little bit thicker underneath, but it's not because we were using those gel polishes. They don't have a lot of thickness to them. So I'm gonna put as much product as I think I need on here, but I may come back and add just a little bit more if I feel like I need to build up the sides or the arch a little bit more. 
I'm just gonna kind of use my brush, kind of tuck in around my cuticle areas, and then we'll go ahead and cure that for a full 60 seconds. So it looks like I've got plenty of product through my cuticle area and my free edge, but I feel like I just need a little bit more right through that arch just to make sure that I get that built up a little bit more. And you guys, when you're working with any of the builder, the build gel, so the build pink or just the build clear, they are a lot more self-leveling. So you do kind of have to work a little quicker with them. So again, I'm gonna do a full 60 second cure to cure that all the way through. I'm going to use a little bit of our swipe to cleanse off that tacky surface, and then I'm gonna file this nail out and I will show you our final nail. All right, you guys, so I filed and finished, or actually I've just filed this nail. I've also added in another nail because I wanna show you one thing that you can kind of add into your service as well, or if your client comes back with these nails on and you wanna do a fill on her, okay? So before I get into that, let me just go ahead and apply a coat of protein bond. So on this nail, I'm just going to top coat it so you can see what that finished design looks like. On the second nail, I'm gonna pretend that this client is coming back in for a fill, but maybe she doesn't have time to completely change out the design. What you can do on this one is just add another coat, add another layer of color. So it's gonna be a, kind of the same underneath, but then you're gonna actually add and change up that design a little bit. So I'm just gonna come back in with one more coat of my color, and this is the whatever you like. So same color that I was using underneath, but I'm just going to do an extra coat over the top. So again, it changes up the design a little bit, but not so much that it's gonna take you a lot of extra time and effort when she comes back for the fill. So again, a quick, easy way to change out the design. I'm gonna cure that for a quick 30 seconds, and then I'll top coat both of the nails for so again, I'm just using our ultimate finish top coat. We're gonna cure this for 60 seconds. It's gonna come out of the light with a tack-free shine. And then you'll be able to see all of that dimension and those Mylar ribbons in there, they just really glow. So I love using those encapsulated and especially with our jelly gels, they're gonna look really, really pretty here. And we will do a 60 second cure. Channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe.